and twist and tie. Bye. Wolf of eight. Chapter fifteen. Regeneration. I do want to go. There was something fishy going on. Very fishy indeed. As they did every morning, Team Seven arrived at their designated main spot, a bridge near the train grounds. Before starting their exit classes for the day. And as he was old, Kakashi was the last to show up. In the meantime, Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura leaned against the bridge rails, rubbing the sleep out of their eyes and counting down the minutes until the sixth sensei graced them all in his presence. There's nothing out of the ordinary here, but once Kakashi did arrive, the strange behavior his two mates as the teammates exhibited did not go unnoticed by Naruto Yuzumaki, most perceptive ninja in the Hidden League village. If he did say so himself. Good morning. Kakashi said with a lazy wave. Sorry I'm late. A black cat crossed my path, so I had to take the long way. Naruto folded his arms and scrunched up his face in concentration. That was the exact same excuse that Sensei gave the team yesterday. How was it that there were so many black cats in the village anyways? Well, the woman who owns the house that's close to the memorial shrine has a black cat. Liar, Sakura said. Side, officially running her fingers through the length of her pink solar light hair. Wait, liar? Why? Maybe she was right? <laughs> yeah, we're on to you! Believe it! Naruto tightened enthusiastically while raising a threatening finger at Sensei. But Kakashi only took on a response. Have a good night, you guys. He has a little smile. And was that a wink? In Sasuke and Sakura's direction on the opposite rail? Yes, that was definitely a wink. And by the way his two mate, a teammate shifted uncomfortably and shot each other knowing looks, Naruto just knew something was going on. Did they have a secret visit together and forgot to invite him along? We had a great night, night Sakura said with a shaky smile, getting closer to Sasuke, who was prodding wordlessly at her side. And then she, oh god, this couldn't be happening. Sakura reached out and grabbed Sasuke's hand, but that wasn't even the worst part. The worst part was that Sasuke didn't push her hand aside or once away. He was letting her lace her fingers with his like it was no big deal. There was clearly something wrong with Sasuke today. Both of them. With all of them. Yeah, it's called Sasuke is too much of a guy. Uh, mostly stunted man to admit that he is enjoying every minute of this. Naruto couldn't help feeling angry. Why was everyone acting like they knew something he didn't? Why wasn't anyone holding his hand? Uh, I'll, I'll hold your hand, Naruto. Can. He would get to the bottom of this mystery if it was the last thing he did. All right, team. Time to get down to business. Kakashi then said, paper out of his weapon pouch. So this may come as a surprise to you guys. The tune in six, it's a license nice house. Guys, you, you are serious? He says, mind racing. Do you think I could be a tuning? Because he said, probably meant, I am very serious, idiot. So Naruto's solitary tearing commenced. This was absolutely perfect. If he was a tuning, that would make him only two ranks below the Hokage. And he make more money on his mission so he could treat Iruka Sensei to ramen. Well, not that he would refuse Iruka's offers to pay, but still. His thoughts were interrupted by the gut rinsing sound someone puking. Naruto's head snapped out with surprise and noticed Sakura was now crossed in the forest outskirts beside the bridge, seemingly resting into the bushes. Gosh, he didn't even see her run over there. Why was he so sick of anyways? Hey, Sakura-chan! He started running over to where she was heaving, but Sasuke began to run to it. What's wrong with you? Sasuke demanded, sending over their female teammate with his arms folded. His face blood expressed a question. He looked very worried. Up to his stomach, Tiny Jake and Kasi and joining his students. Sakura nodded without sparing him a glance. She was trembling all over, from the angle Naruto stood, her face looked extremely pale. You should go home, Sakura chan! Naruto said firmly, while Sasuke kneeled down beside her, gesturing to help her up. Maybe you caught something at the hospital? Naruto's right, Kakashi said with a nod. In fact, you can all go home if you like. I want you to mull over whether you think you are truly ready to take part in the exams. 
Klaus is on spoke dismissively and was about to leave when he added, Sasuke, take good care of Sakura. See you all tomorrow. And then he fans in a cloud of smoke. Sasuke? Sasuke, take care of Sakura? What about Naruto? Hey, I'm here too! Naruto yelled, but Kakashi was already gone. I'll do a bear job taking care of her than that bastard. Believe it! No, I'm fine, guys. King Sakura's cheeky voice. She used Sasuke's art to pull herself to her feet. Something came over me suddenly, and I... I don't think we're ready for the exams. What? Sasuke and Naruto started. Sakura was now standing in the upright position on his shoulders. I know what's involved in them. We aren't ready. Just... Probably you guys won't go ahead and register without me. Take your time thinking about it, though. She wiped her mouth from the back of her trembling hand. Naruto and Sasuke exchanged glances. Where the hell is this coming from? Sakura was one of the toughest skinning out to good. She was opposite the demon. Naruto bit back his ears and shouted some sense into her. He caught the plain look in her eyes. Something told him now was not a good time for her protesting. Well, think it through. Sasuke said slowly, but he sounded a little unsure of himself. Of course, Sasuke might enter the exams. He wondered about the D-rank missions they went on too. Exams would be a perfect house of opponents. We can press it together when you're ready, Sakura Tan. We'll figure this out when you're feeling better. Naruto said with a firm nod. He too wanted to take the exams. But he realized that openly displaying Sakura was dangerous. Once to his relief, Sakura broke into a smile. You guys are the best. She said while patting her teammates' arms affectionately. Well, since training is cancelled, I'll go home and take a nap before work. See you guys. So he had picked up her backpack and turned to leave. I'll see you later. Sasuke called after her, and was Naruto narrowed his eyes. There was something deliberately about the way Sasuke was speaking. Like this wasn't just a casual goodbye. Naruto's suspicion was confirmed when Sakura turned back and saw Sasuke smell some work. Being up later, something was definitely going on between those two. Since Team ba Seven's battle with Sabasa, Naruto had been haunted by a powerful guilt for accidentally hurting Sakura. In all honesty, he could clearly remember when he registered that her unconscious body was crumpled on the ground before him, and his fist was outstretched in her direction. It didn't take much thinking to put two and two together. And what happened after that was the worst part of it all. Kakashi freed himself from Sabasa and immediately restrained Naruto by pinning him to the ground like he was some uncaged fistless animal. Sasuke was yelling at him then, yelling something in a tone filled with fury and grief and the tiniest trace of fear. And it genuinely upset Naruto that he managed to create such a negative and emotional response to his own teammate. Naruto was lucky Sakura forgave him once he woke up in the hospital. He wasn't really expecting her to, but he still had a negative feeling his teammates didn't feel safe around him. He knew they looked down on him. He knew they snuck out the night together. He was sure Sakura had a thing for that stuck up bastard like all the other kids girls though, even though she didn't really show it. It was about time he put an end to feeling so out of the loop. He get closer to his teammates if he was ever going to understand him. I was trying to man up and take the initiative. Oi! Sasuke! Naruto called after the Ichiha. As before, he turned to leave the bridge. The others were already long gone. Sasuke glanced back and raised his eyebrows, prompting his teammate to get to the point. Let's spar! After a brief pause, Sasuke turned back around. Right now? He asked flatly, but Naruto didn't fail to catch the energized glint in his eye. Yeah, Naruto said, mischievous grin sprouting on his face. This was perfect. After all, he knew the best way to get to know someone better was to beat the shit out of him. And beat the shit out of Sasuke he did. Well, maybe for a couple of rounds, but it was really counting. Either way, Naruto had a great time. The two agreed to leave out ninjutsu and focus on hand-to-hand -hand combat. Aside from Naruto's child clubs, which Sasuke claimed might actually make the fight worthwhile. The two of them rusted out for nearly three of exhausted, covered in dirt, and supporting cuts and bruises. That was great, Naruto said between heavy breaths, while wiping his forehead with the back of his hand. So it's more fun than tree climbing, he yeah, added while reclining the only other time he and Sasuke had an opportunity to train alone together. Yeah. Sasuke said from where he was crouched with his hands on resting on his eyes. You're a little smarter than I thought. Hey, 
Naruto shot back. I was too tired to think of a comeback, so he instead just laughed. Definitely get Sasuke back later with that wedding line anyways. Sasuke smirked and rising to his feet and slinging his bag over his shoulder. Well, I better get going, he said. Where to? Naruto asked. Curiosity spiking a little. The rest of Team 7 was having a secret meeting. There was no way Naruto would risk being left out of it this time. Sasuke cast his blonde teammate a perplexed look. Oh my guess, he said, clearly having no idea why Naruto was taking any interest in his personal life. Naruto straightened up. You hungry? Naruto had to admit, he felt pretty cool walking around the village and stopping to create a fight with the famous Sasuke Uchiha. Man, it looked cooler. See, it was almost like doing charity work to help one of the most anti-social jerks think on the village like a normal human being. Surprise, surprise didn't for lunch at all. But while they were walking to Hirasuraku, where Naruto insisted they went, Sasuke admitted that he disliked cooking. It did occur to Naruto that Sasuke was living on his own too. Naruto knew, from first-hand experience, that growing up without a family, there wasn't really anything to do at home besides cook and clean, and Naruto refused to do either, unless he picked up some stationary hobbies. On even day, the days without school or training could drag on forever. Not to mention, despite his cool Mr. Charm, Naruto had never had any good friends growing up, and he was certain Sasuke never had any either. In their seats at the ramen bar, they started recounting the events of their recent Taijutsu training session. Jason shifted to the upcoming tuning exams. A pretty pump, Naruto said while placing his arm and grinning enthusiastically. Finally get a chance to move up in the ranks, say goodbye to those late deranged missions. Sasuke nodded. I will face real opponents in the exams. He said between sips of wire. Since the land of waves was in, we hadn't had any real fights. We weren't supposed to go on that mission in the first place! His attention was quickly averted when a steaming bowl of ramen was set down before him. Yes! Finally! He exclaimed before reaching for his chopsticks. I like it since he last tasted ramen. Well, ramen from a restaurant, that is. He had a bowl of instant ramen that morning. That was at least a few days ago. What's now that Naruto thought about it, ended up being in love with that quiet girl from the Yuga clan, Hinata. She turned out to be a pretty nice girl. Sure, she wasn't very talkative, but she was one of the first people he ever spoke to who didn't cringe once in their whole conversation. After a few minutes of wolfing down the salty, pork top noodles, Naruto seemed to remember why he wanted to spend more time with Sasuke in the first place. He was here to gather information on the strange relationship between his teammates. Right, teeny exams. In full mouth. <laughs> Wonder why Sakura Chan doesn't seem interested in him. Sasuke shrugged. I don't know. Sit between bites. Well, how about we sign her up for the exams in secret? Naruto said with a sneaky grin. <laughs> Bet he think us in the long run. Sasuke glanced at his teammate disbelievingly. She killed us, he said simply. Besides, pretty sure that's against the rules. That's never stopped me from doing anything, Naruto said, waving down the waiter to order another bowl. I could easily forge her signature. Besides, you don't you think Sakura Chan will regret if she doesn't take the exams? For a moment, Sasuke looked like he was really considering Naruto's comment. But then he seemed to have a change of heart and said, That's not our problem. Naruto frowned. Really? That was all he had to say? Well, maybe it was time for a different approach to bringing her into the conversation. I mean, Sakura John, of all people, has nothing to worry about in the exams, right? She's gotta be the strongest and smartest girl I've ever met, he guessed. She always knows exactly what to do in Bao. I mean, how many getting know how to use Malgo Tutu? None! She's such a genius. Naruto said while smiling fully. As if he landed the coolest Konichi on his team. So, Sasuke, what do you think about Sakura Chan? He then asked as casually as possible between his slurps. Damn, am I ever smooth, he thought. Maybe it's his plan to be Okage Dan work, but when he keeps still, or undercover detective, or a psychologist. There's a short pause. I agree with what you said. Sasuke mumbled his ball, and chewing slowly and deliberately. 
Seriously? There's a frown. Be good for ass. I'll try to keep this totally nice as possible. Sasuke dismisses Gay straight to his teammate. He was about to speak, but was interrupted before he got any words out. Hey, is that you, Naruto? It's Sasuke? Is that Sasuke? Darn, what awful timing. Sasuke was totally about the cave. Who was? Oh, Shikamaru and Chelsea. Over here. Oh, he sprang up to his feet and beckoned for the two boys from Team 10 to join him. Naruto sensed his own teammates' discomfort as the other boys chose, but he chose to ignore it. He was doing Sasuke a service by forcing him to improve his social skills. Hi, boys. And his usual laid back tone. His eyes were heavy and lighted when he woke up from a nap. There it was tied up as it usually was. Must say, I'm surprised to see you in about Sasuke. Yeah, while well, easing himself into the empty chair beside Naruto, Sasuke nearly struck a response. You think guys think they'll let me order three servers at once? Asked Chelsea as while he plumped himself down, a seeking on other side. I'm starving, and by the time I finish my first bowl, the waiter never comes by fast enough for me to order the next one time. It's worth a shot, Naruto said with a grin. He liked the way the guy thought. But now, it was time to get back on topic. He wasn't going to let the new arrivals distract him from the true reason he was out here with Sasuke in the first place. Maybe they can even help some of the details out of the summer bastard. But of course, he needed to get back work on topic in the conversation smoothly. So guys, Naruto said in a cool, relaxed right tone. We were just talking about what's going on between Sasuke and Sakura-chan. That was pretty smooth, right? Oh, so you're dating then. Shikamaru asked, and lazily glancing up from the menu. Ino asked me the other day. I told her no one cares, and then she had a fit. Crazy woman. Wait, dating? Sasuke and Sakura? No, no way. It simply wasn't possible. Naruto gave his teammate a scrutinizing glare. Sasuke was staring straight into his ball as he finished intently for the last couple of bites. Tozzi and Sikamara's balls were set down then, but Naruto wasn't going to let the subject of this conversation die so easily. That's not true, is it? <laughs> Naruto asked slowly, wheels turning in his head. Now that he thought about it, hand holding was in it, and spending a lot of time alone together. <laughs> oh god. That was when Sasuke calmly sat down to Sasuke and rose from his seats. Go to lunch. He said, ignoring Naruto's question. See you later. Without waiting for anyone to reply, he placed a lot of money on the counter and started out of Uraturaku, leaving a shot to confuse Naruto behind. Hey! Wait! Sasuke! Naruto called out his teammate from tugging on the sleeve of his orange jacket. Leave him be, Naruto. Just gonna piss him off. Sigmar said, Besides, I think the answer to your question is pretty obvious now. Naruto worked like, What do you mean, obvious? I don't see it. There isn't enough evidence to prove their date. I'm gonna beat the truth out of that bastard! Naruto was angry now. Why were his teammates hiding so much from him? I was with Sasuke answering any of his questions. This was the last straw. Easy there. Sigmar sighed. Josie was just finishing up his third bowl. He had oblivious to the tiny scenes. Why don't you just talk to Sakura instead? She seems a lot easier to reason with. Talk to Sakura? Why, that was a brilliant idea. He was certainly more approachable than Sasuke was. See, this was why Naruto needed to keep smart guys like Shikamaru around. All right, we'll talk to Sakura-chan this evening. Naruto announced her pounding his fist on the table for good master. Shikamaru raised his eyebrows. Wait. What do you mean, we? After that, Naruto showed up at Sikamaru's front door and dragged him outside. There was no way he would let the guy back out now. They made a fabulous scene after all, with Sikamaru being the brains and Naruto being the money. I never agreed to this. The lazy boy groaned as Naruto pulled him through the darkening streets. The sun was beginning to set now, casting long shadows across the village roads. Come on! Naruto whined. This is gonna be fun! Trust me! That's helpful. But if I back out now, you'll never let me have any peace and quiet, will ya? Naruto grinned. Exactly, he said. Wait, hold on. I think that's her. He ran in the corner to Sakura Street, 
just when the sick queen Yuji walked out her front door. She was certainly dressed for the warm summer evening, with a red sleeveless shirt, gray cropped up pants. Her head protector and weapon pals were nowhere in sight. I suggested she wasn't heading to the training grounds. So, the enormous backpack she was sleeping on her shoulders caught Naruto's attention. She wasn't training. Why does he need such a big backpack? Where was Sakura going anyways? Library? The hospital? Well, that's a relief. Sigmaro said when he caught sight of Naruto's pink-haired teammate. Let's go talk to her now so I can go home. No, I have a better idea. Naruto says he pulls Sigmaro back around the corner he just emerged from. We're going to follow her and find out what she's up to. He pops his head around the building and was pressed up to track Sakura's movements. She was now looking over her shoulders. Oh, as his missus. She's up to something. I know it! Oh, what a pain. Sigmaro mumbles, scratching the back of his neck. Well, she's already getting away, so better her startle to leap down to Sakura Street. On? Already? Crap. She was nowhere in sight for any sign of pink. That was when he went back by the collar of his jacket. She took the rooftops, idiot. Come on. Sigmaro said, voice dropping with annoyance. For he tiered the Sakura to his feet and lost himself into the air, dragging Naruto along with him. This couldn't be happening. This could not be happening. Sakura was going to Uchiha residence. Naruto stared in horror. From behind the chimney of a nearby building, as his female teammate approached the front door to what he assumed was Sasuke's place. Not twice, he silently slipped inside when the door was open for her. This whole thing was just sitting right with Naruto. His crest on Sakura's side, Naruto hated losing time hanging out with Sasuke that day, and how Sasuke might be less of an asshole than he originally thought. There's no way in hell he deserved to be with someone like Sakura. That was when a thought occurred to Naruto. When I carried such enormous implications, he even admitted to gas. Sasuke was forcing Sakura to take him against her will. It must be it! After all, Sasuke was a socially awkward jerk who definitely didn't have the charm, skill, brains, or looks to keep a girl around. Okay, maybe. But Sakura taught us that's all! Naruto painted his fist against his open palm, before getting into towards Sasuke's apartment with a supple resolve. Sakura flaring dangerously. He ignored Sikamaru's cries of protest because now he, it was not the time for reasoning or logic. It was time to rescue Sakura. So when Naruto burst through Sasuke's front door, he was quite surprised to find Sakura sitting comfortably in what appeared to be a dimly lit kitchen. Until she caught sight of Naruto, that is. Sakura bright upright abruptly, and as he nearly knocked the chair around the price. What the hell are you doing here? Before Naruto could even open his mouth to answer, Sasuke flash stepped directly before him. From wherever he had been ringing in the shadows of the kitchen, his arms folded and the jaw clenched, very quietly and calmly. What do you want? There was something intimidating about a soft tone that darked in her eyes. Oh, but Naruto wasn't backing down. I'm here to save Chakra Chan from you, if you excuse me. Naruto snapped into the most threatening voice he could muster, raising his arms to shove Sasuke aside. A hand on his shoulder stopped him. It wasn't Sasuke's. Naruto, cut it out. Sigamaro said tiredly from behind him. Guys, I'm sorry for walking in. Naruto just wanted to prove a point in. Well, yeah, you know how it is with him. What? what, what? Sakura sneered from where she stood by the kitchen table. He didn't walk in on anything. Her green eyes were wide and hands were cast against her stomach. Naruto raised an eyebrow. I wasn't going to believe that one bit. She was clearly hiding something. Then why are you blushing? He asked, and stuttering! God damn, Naruto amazed himself with how suave and analytical he was sometimes. And why is there a picture of a human brain on the table behind you? Shigemaru didn't ask. A trace of curiosity finding its way to his What's Naruto nodded. Sakura seemed to be trying to shield from you. Yeah! What's with the brains? <laughs> Naruto demanded. That's the first thing I noticed when I walked in here. Believe it. That was when Sakura and Sasuke exchanged wide-eyed looks. <laughs> they are now busted for... Wait. If this was a secret romantic meeting they were crashing, why were there picture of brains on the tables? Alright. 
sucker said after a long pause. I can't explain. So after, Naruto found himself seated at Sasuke's kitchen table for a pile of textbooks and a small stack of brain scans. He couldn't help but appreciate how three of Konoha's most intelligent Genji were now sitting around the same table. Oh, and Sasuke was there too. Under normal circumstances, Naruto went whining about how Seti Chia was glowing the room's overall IQ level, but Sasuke was currently putting on a pot of tea for all of them. So for now, it was in Naruto's good books. So, let me get this straight, said Sigamaru, closing his eyes, rubbing his temple in concentration. Something unusual in one of your pieces, so you took him home to conduct your own personal research. Sakura tucked a stray lock of hair behind her hair and bit her lip. You guys have to promise not to say anything about this, she said hurriedly. Technically, this, this is illegal. Sigamaru nodded. Yeah, he said with a shrug. Well... I must say, these scans do strike me a little bit weird. Naruto scratched up his face in concentration as he peered down the images. They all looked like ugly, wrinkly balls. They appeared darker or lighter than the others. And the images were crazy, looked pretty much the same. But maybe if you, you figure out what was weird about them. And suddenly clanked down the table in front of Naruto, breaking his uh, concentration. <laughs> hey, what? Naruto yelled in frustration. It was hard enough for him to concentrate on those boring, wrinkly balls without any distractions. Your teeth are ass. Sasuke grumbled. He rolled his eyes at teammates' dramatic startled response, or taking to see across from Naruto and Sakura's left. Right, I grumbled back. This tell not sound the least bit thankful. So this patient must be pretty special, huh? Yes, sir. So what's up with his brain? Sakura shouted straight and cleared her throat. <laughs> okay. Well, the pieces around our eyes. Hold on a sec. Sikumaru and Roger picking up one of the skins. Our age, you say? A few parts of this brain look a lot more mature than that. He mused. So why are this piece is actually older and has some sort of neuro neurodegenerative disease? Or this piece it really is our age. And his brain's development is being celebrated in certain areas at a natural pace. Naruto appeared from the scan to Sigamaru and nodded. Shit, he had absolutely no idea what this guy was talking about. That didn't mean he couldn't act like he did. Naruto glanced out to, see, to find that Sasuke's eyes were flickering for Sigamaru and his Sakura. He's, okay, good. Is that not the only one? Sakura said, her voice catching slightly. I think that, well, I think these particular scans here will provide some explanation. She said, while well, nine towards the scans closer to her. Uh. Chakra scans. Sigamaru said while raising his eyebrows. What's so interesting about him? Well, Sakura started drinking one of the scans in the middle of the table so everyone could see it. Have a look at this torso view and tell me what you guys think. A huge amount of chakras gather in the middle. Sasuke said while frowning at the bird's eye scan. Is the chakra a little more evenly disputed for Ninja's brain? You're right, as he said. Yeah. If you compare this brain scan to the one we just looked at, you'll notice that the areas with the strongest concentrations of chakra also appear to ace the most. Show me the ventral and psychotizal chakra scans. Sigamaru turned in. Nice towards the pile. They should give us a closer look at the regions aging faster. Sir. Sakura reached for two more sheets in the pile, fingers trembling slightly. Naruto noticed. Probably because he was sick this morning, he thought. Being the busybody she was, Naruto died Sakura and nabbed at the train as she said she would. Everyone gazed up at the images in silence. Chakras clumped around several different areas in the middle of the brain scans. Don't look at them. Peered up to the other three all appeared to be deep computation. Alright, he could do that too. But that damn ticky clock was distracting him, and so was his burnt tongue. The stupid tea was too hot. Finally, after what felt like an eternity, Sikamaru broke the silence. Alright, so we want to get specific. System, especially the hippocampus and the amygdala. He said in a casual tone. It's a normal conversation. What are those parts for? Satsuki asked, glancing him curiously. Sakura jumped in. Well, they're multifunctional, really. If, but if we focus on basic roles, they control emotions and memory. For a moment, 
So seeing Sakura is really causing Delos areas to mature faster than all the others. Sakura added quietly while staring down the images with wide eyes. I see. Sasuke answered slowly, eyes strained on her. But why would the chakra be concentrating like that in the first place? We studied how chakras are normally believe in the body. This is a normal chakra, is it? Sigumaru shook his head. No, I suspect not. He said, In fact, if you ask me, I think this chakra has regenerative properties. It has what powers all piped up. I was trying so very hard to keep up. Well, that wasn't easy. He never paid attention to the academy classes. So, how was he to know about brain chakra or whatever? And he was getting hungry. So, his attention span was weakening with each passing second. Regenerative properties, Sigamara repeated. You know, sort of like healing properties. It looks like that chakra is regenerating and enhancing parts of the brain. He chuckled to himself in amazement. <laughs> I've read about this chakra somewhere in a modern history book. Some famous healer or cultivator chakra to do this. What was her name again? Senju? Darn. The name was slipping my mind. Sonari Senju. Sakura fist so, Sasuke fist so quietly he practically breathed it. His eyes whining with what appeared to be realization. Sakura's own jaw dropped to the pencil seat that bouncing between her fingers dropped to the table. Just what kind to everyone? They are all acting like some humongous discovery and Naruto barely knew what was going on at all. Sonate sent you? Who the hell is that? There's no way he remembered anything from modern history classes. It was so boring he'd never been away for more than ten consecutive minutes in any of them. Amor fumbled into him. Why was he always felt left out? Naruto glared at his black haired teammate across the table, who was staring at Sakura like he'd never seen her before. His mouth hanging open and eyes wide and unblinking. Naruto was certain he knew exactly what that look on his face meant too. Sasuke was in love with her. Well, you're not wrong. Not only that, but Sakura was staring at him with equal intensity. As he was trying to tell him through her big green eyes. So Sigamaru was right after all. Naruto's approval. They are dating. <laughs> Everyone was discovering cool things in these brain images without acting like they were all so smart. Well, they weren't smart in him. Naruto knew he could find something interesting about brains too. Hey guys, look! He called, pointing to a scheme of viewing the brain from the front. Did any of you notice how the brain chakra behind the forehead is making the shape of what? What's Naruto's variation? No one responded. They all just turned and stared at him. Weird, huh? Yeah, it was a small chuckle. 